Hi everybody. Um, today I'm just going to show you how to manipulate your material just using your hatch pattern. So what I have here is that it's a texture, okay? And in here, this is what it looks like in rendered mode. Now, if I want to change the size of the tile, let's assume that I'm creating wall art. Um, in the appearances, uh, let's assume I want to change this to Right now it's set to 16 feet, but what if you want to change it to much larger size? So let's assume that I'm going to go double the size, so 16 times 2, so 32. Okay, oops, 32 feet. And in this particular relief, I'm also going to do 32 feet. So okay, okay, okay. When I hit escape. This is what it looks like. You notice that the hatch pattern just does not correlate. So what you have to do is you go back and change the size here. I'm just going to go edit and make it 8 feet, 8 feet. So it's 8 feet, 8 feet. Let's say OK. And you have the right size. So the next step you want to do is you want to rotate this rather than creating another material just to do an offset. What I typically like to do with this is to split those. Okay. And I'm just gonna do the edges and just hit that. The next thing I want to do is that I would just want to use paint. And I'm just gonna say wall art painted here. The reason why I do this is because if I undo it. 80, you notice that both sides are actually working simultaneously. So now if I do paint, okay, rotate this, it's going to create an independent material. So let's say paint like this. Now try to rotate. There we go. So you can also adjust it. So let's assume that you want to adjust this particular material. Okay. You can actually um, Adjust it the way you want it. You notice that here it just keeps moving. Uh, can I rotate this to 90 degree? Let's say I'm just going to make this 180 and align it. And here we go. So that's basically a quick tips and tricks. Okay, so you don't have to do a lot of this manipulation. Now, if you want to do further manipulation, you can always go in there, do a split. Let's assume that that's what you want. Okay. And do another paint. So let's assume that I want this to be painted like that. And then in here, you can have different different variations. And you can just say, I just want to offset this this way. Okay. Hopefully, that's a good useful tips. Uh, thank you for very much. Thank you.